So Boron Lakes is a 116 kilometer loop where you canoe a bit, portage a bit, and then canoe a lot more. Now the idea is you're trying to experience what it's like to be an 18th century fur trader canoeing the Fraser River. But we have GPS, lightweight canoes, canned food, propane tanks, pneumatic tires, and you know, Arc'teryx, Gore-Tex, waterproof jackets. So I say experience with quotation marks. And let me tell you, portaging is really hard. We worked up quite a bit of sweat. Train coming through. How are you feeling, boys? Dead. Oh, man. Dead, bro. Canoeing was a lot more enjoyable and relaxing. <laughs> the Terminator. Undoubtedly, the best part of canoeing was that there were no mosquitoes die bombing you every single second. A wise person once said you need to turn uh, bad circumstances into good experiences. So, as you know, there's lots of mosquitoes and uh, my forehead is riddled with bumps and bruises. So, to turn this into a good experience, I want bugs, mosquitoes to come and bite me now because I've got a little bottle and I'm going to be collecting their uh, corpses. So hopefully I'll have this <laughs> filled up by the time we finish this trip. The first portage trails were around waterfalls and rapids and I read that they were made by moose. So at first I thought, oh man, that's a pretty cool job, like riding on a moose and then like clearing a trail. But apparently it turns out that it was wild moose and it was just like a random path, not like a, a trained moose, unfortunately. The condition of the road got worse and worse and eventually we reached a section of flooded road <laughs> And we had to wade through this disgusting filth. It was beyond imagination. Okay. One more. <sighs> Splish splosh. <laughs> hey, this is the stuff we signed up for. I just wore these socks. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling like a true explorer yet? Uh, yep. How's your uh, pants doing? Uh, it's completely soaked. This is the mushy stuff we have to go through to get to our destination. Oh, it actually feels really good. Like a massage almost. One, two, three! Ah, oh, it's so cold! Oh, three! Me, Brittany, and Maggie had the added complication of having to turn a canoe around in that filth. This yellow stuff was everywhere. It was as if the lakes turned into a giant bowl of miso soup. Oh. 
Yummy. We thought it was some sort of algae at first, but it turned out to be tree sap. Can you see the yellow mist on camera? I'm not sure if you can, but that's what all the yellow stuff is. As we exit the yellow diarrhea, we're faced with another worthy adversary. The wind and waves. Row, row your boat gently down the stream. Awful Mary. Most of the time, we were rowing as hard as our puny muscles would let us, and we were still barely moving. Let's go! Campsite number 19! It was just bacon, bok choy, and oatmeal, but it felt like Gordon Ramsay himself cooked that stuff. Day number three, it's raining very hard, and we're very, very miserable. I really want to go back inside the tent and not move for the entire day, but we do have seven days only to get this trip completed, so we gotta keep pushing. During the day's 26 kilometer paddle, we raced and beat some 60 year olds, had some excellent matcha served with our choice of oat milk, oat milk, or oat milk. And by the afternoon, the clouds gave way to the smiling sun. And let me tell you guys, the view was absolutely gorgeous. And I even did a little bit of fishing. Whoa! I even added sound effects for you. Thanks, appreciate it. That's a huge fish! <laughs> oh, can't believe it! What? <laughs> what? Just like that? So at this campsite, this is a really cool shelter place and it's tradition to carve an ore, a wooden ore out of driftwood and then hang it up on there. So we're gonna check out, uh, see some of the cool carvings and do one ourselves. Okay, so we've got a piece of driftwood here. We're gonna whittle it down into a gnaw with Mr. Knife. Okay, clearly I won't be getting invited to the wood whittling competition, world championships, but I think this will do for now. Is that supposed to be? Darn, Ray can't tell what it's supposed to be. I guess I failed. A big spoon? <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be an ore, but uh. <laughs> okay, I guess I need to work on it. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Perfect.
<laughs> All right, boys, going down the chute, a really rapid section of uh, the river. I'm a little apprehensive, nervous, but also excited because this is a once in a lifetime experience I'm sure I will not regret. Any last words you want to say before we drown in the chute? So it was Edwin who said there's no problem, <laughs> we should just do it because it's easy. And um, all my money will go to my mom <laughs> if something happens. <laughs> Nothing to Angela. <laughs> Okay, and right, right, right. Somehow Kevin and Ray managed to make it through successfully despite their questionable boat friendship. This river section was like a roller coaster and it was filled with our screams of joy. We blasted past Kevin and Ray here and made it onshore safely. We waited for them and kept waiting. Turns out they were bailing water out of their canoe by the bucket full. Kevin's still dumping it out. Almost died, bro. <laughs> we took on like this much water in the canoe. It was like this much to the top. Oh my goodness! Yeah. How? What's so we lost control because I was supposed to be in the back and yeah. then the boat flipped 180. I went to the front <laughs> and then it was too fast for us to like adjust. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then by the time we adjusted once, like we over adjusted, so we had to adjust again. Uh -huh. And then second time there was a like a tree uh, like jutting out. Oh, like out. a sweeper. Yeah, oh, jutting out and then like it pushed onto the front of the, the canoe and yeah. then like kept us over. <gasps> yeah, and the water came in. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Uh, this feels like one of those lazy rivers at the water park. You just chill on your water tube, enjoy the sun and do nothing. I wish the entire Bowen Lake circuit was like this. Look at those mountains. Beautiful. Oh, yo! It's a canoe! Oh. Holy, yeah, it's nice. a part of a canoe! We are originally gonna stay at campsite number 35 but for some reason we don't see it and we're really confused so we're like okay we'll go to 36 we get to 36 we see smoke on the horizon we're like oh no somebody's there and sure enough yeah there's somebody there we go to 37 same story now we're going to number 37a and yeah the sun is setting so hopefully we can stay there if not, we're gonna row in the dark. And there's also some heavy clouds to our left. Maggie saw lightning and we just heard thunder. So yeah, it might be GG. Cause it's like that way. <gasps> Whoa, I caught that. Yes. All right, now we're heading to Caribou Falls. The sheer power of this waterfall is incredible! Next, we go to Skoy Lake, which is super calm and peaceful. I feel like a gondola man steering my gondola down the narrow valleys of Venice. <laughs> Did you film that? 
Yes. Nice. He's using the, the marshes. Oh god. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is bad. Brittany oh, versus God. Tuna Cad. Get nervous if you're gonna film, and that's gonna take even longer. Guys, look at this. Tell me how I'm supposed to use this. So obviously I go like this. Oh. Got it. That's right, guys. She got it. <laughs> no, it's gotta be this way, because who opens a can this way? Deep. With a couple hints, she manages to open it as the sun sets. I am walking along the forest to get drinking water, and I hear this weird beat coming from my right. So, I look around, and what do you know? The source of the music is sitting up on a tree, pine cone in hand. It's beatboxing. Match that, black rappers. At this point, we had broken through the proverbial brick wall, and we were full of energy. Just kidding, we were dead tired. But somehow, we made it up this super fast section of the river. It's something. Let's grab onto a branch! <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Grab it, grab it, grab it! Try to grab onto that thing and come over here. Cool. Yeah! Yeah! Paddle! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. 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 Let's go! Last vestiges of a glorious day. Now guys, don't get me wrong, I love camping, but on day 7, the only two thoughts in my head were, mmm, all you can eat, and mmm, hot shower. This side's the worst. Hey. So how would you rate this trip out of 10? Uh, solid 9. Solid 9? Dang. Okay, yeah. okay. Dang. Otter. Yeah. Okay, so here's my mosquito bottle. As you can see, the bottom is covered in black, uh, as well as the sides. I estimate there are about 100 in there. There's probably like hundreds more that we killed but didn't put in here. And I wish they had a 4D camera where you can like smell this thing. But yeah, it smells like crabs, guys. Very fresh, very yummy.